Good evening. Chief Executive John Lee and Guangdong Governor Wang Weizhong co-chaired the 24th Plenary of the Hong Kong Guangdong Cooperation Joint Conference in Guangzhou. Chief Executive John Lee and Guangdong Province Governor Wang Weizhong co-chaired the 24th Plenary of the Hong Kong Guangdong Cooperation Joint Conference in Guangzhou. The two governments made steady progress in various cooperation areas, including jointly promoting the development of the Shenzhen Hong Kong Science and Technology Innovation Cooperation Zone. The Hong Kong Special Administrative Region government is taking forward at full steam the development of the Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park. And will strengthen innovation and technology collaboration with other mainland cities of the Greater Bay Area. Moreover, it will continue to adopt an industry-driven approach as its key planning axle for the development of the Northern Metropolis, strengthening synergies with Shenzhen and other cities in the Bay Area. The meeting also touched on jointly pursuing the Dual Carbon Goal. The Hong Kong SAR government made it clear that it will continue to actively foster cooperation and exchange on carbon neutrality within the Bay Area. Mr. Lee remarked that Guangdong has all along been the most important partner of Hong Kong in regional cooperation with the mainland. He stressed that Hong Kong and Guangdong have a multidisciplinary, in-depth, and all-around cooperation relationship. The chief executive added that the Hong Kong SAR government will continue to maintain close liaison with the Guangdong provincial government and deepen cooperation between both sides, as well as work hand in hand to promote high-level collaboration in and high-quality development of the Bay Area. The two sides penned six cooperation agreements covering the work on quality testing and certification. Food safety, agriculture, healthcare, and more. Mr. Li also met the CBC Guangdong Provincial Committee Secretary Huang Kunming after the joint conference. And that's the news hot stop.